And I, 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 I like what you said because it's something that uh, I rarely hear from other folks, but it, it's something that I've said, and it was my path, which is like cutting your teeth by working for small startups. And they still exist, and they still want you, but the, the way you approach it is, is differently. So like uh, the way I used to, when I wanted work, um, like I didn't use LinkedIn or resume. I avoided that for the longest time. When I wanted a job, I'd go to, uh, I think it was like Crunchbase or whatever listed all the startups, and I would just sort them based on when they got their when they got their uh, seed funding or their series A and then I'd look at what the company is and I would I would kind of get an idea like okay they're trying to build this thing and they don't have this and this and that and I would just go and I would cold cold email them very targeted and be uh, and I'd be like hey I love what you're building and um I wasn't saying like I wanted a job but I just like talked about the thing that they're built like shown that I really understood what their thing is and then I would go build a thing and ship it to them you know, I would just go, here's some code, just have it. There you go. And people like, like this was, a, I mean, like six, seven years ago when I was dealing with more boot camp, or, uh, boot camp graduates in, in Toronto. And they go, oh, I'm applying all these places and they all have this take, take, take home homework. And, uh, and my, my thing is like, just get better, just get better at being able to rapidly build these things. Because I got to a point where like, I could MVP anything. Before I even knew about CloudFormation, I had my own YAML. I, I have it somewhere. I had my own YAML code where, it would just uh, assemble app, uh, various applications very quickly so that I could then get to the more important parts of what that company wants. And, I, and so I think you could just keep iterating, 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 getting faster. Um, and it became nothing for me to knock it out. And then I'd add it to my graveyard of a catalog that I could pull from later. But that strategy was extremely effective and still works today. Like I'll give you an example that anyone could do right now. Right now, Memento, uh, I got their cup right here. Not to try to, to try to plug a serverless product, but like they just raised money, right? They're not even a Gen AI company. They're like, I, it's crazy to hear like a company that raised money that hasn't Gen AI, but they have a really cool um, uh, infrastructure service. What do we call it? Like, it's like, what's the, I can't remember the name. It's like, you know, but the idea is like, it's the development. It's not, it's not a SaaS. It's like the infrastructure that you utilize, right? Uh, memory, whatever, whatever. But like you could go and you could go build a opinionated serverless framework around it and then ship it over to them and say, hey, I built this really cool thing. What do you think of it? You don't think they don't they wouldn't want that and they wouldn't they wouldn't want to uh, uh, bring you in the doors. Um, the, the first company that, that I, and I became a CTO for uh, was was Teambox. And the way I got that job was they had an open source Rails Rails app on GitHub. And one of my clients wanted me to uh, deploy it because um, they knew I knew Rails. And so I couldn't get it to work. It was in bad state. And so I just went to Twitter and complained about it. And the, the co-founder, the founder at the time was like, how, what would you make better? I was like, I'll just show you. And then I spent like a week just like, like uh, submitting open source uh, pull requests and forks. And I, I, I changed a large portion of their code base and, and fixed it. And they said, do you want to, do you want to come to Barcelona and be our CTO? And I said, okay. And I didn't even know who they were. I just got on a plane and went there. I was younger, right? And I saved the company because I guess they were they had burned through their money, and they 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 were smart. They just didn't know they didn't know what to do with the, that I knew how to do, and that brought them more money in. And so I became this kind of person that would go in and save startups. I'd find startups where I felt like they might be struggling, and I would say just the right things they needed to hear, uh, and bring them the right things and show the productivity that it became uh, impossible for them not to want to hire me. And it was like three out of four places I would message and I would have my choice. It hasn't, again, it hasn't changed, but you have to get to that level of communication and understanding what other people want if you go that route, right? If you want to go that crazy. 